believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on me. Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. this weekend. Josh. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike.
Hello? Hello? He must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Hannah, is that it? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? What I see, I see. Let's see. 
the scarecrow were not there, would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Oh no? Why not? Is there something else in that picture that scares you? Huh, that's interesting. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. But please, I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. Hmm? The thing that's driving you fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? But the next time. <laughs> Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. but. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes!
what? <sighs> Damn it. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Bella, you hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> cool. All the way up here. Chris, are you here? The bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on. 
Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Wow, nice shooting ticks. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh, my that? God, that's oh. that. Give it away. Ah! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? Oh, this mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look. Our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Man, it is it's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just... Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh... Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what, let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? 
No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty... the bellboy when you need one. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I'm definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. 
I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh! Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? Oh! Ah. Oh, hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? Come on. <laughs> Hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. No, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> you can't 
can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Oh no! Damn, Jess. Look what you did. I know, I know. Oh no, poor birdie, poor little Tweety birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh my god. Michael? Oh, <laughs> gotcha! It's done! Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, sounds like... Oh! Oh my god! That was... Really close. That thing was gonna kill us. Yeah, I mean, wow. If you hadn't pulled us out of the way, toast. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah. again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience.
is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, an awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, 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 we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, ma'am. Hey. You doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? It's good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot, nobody likes cool buns. juice here. Uh, I just gotta turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone, Tom? What? Why? 
That's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. You got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually, dude, there's this you don't. The answer is that you don't. We got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. How was that? Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it.
we're freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah, come on in. Take a load off, have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa, easy there, cowboy. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. Right. What's the fuck going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Um, I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. That's real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Ah, <sighs> 
Sexiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, Barr. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! Gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Find the generator or what? Mike, wouldn't it be nice to fire up the Jenny and get moving? What's a Jenny? All right, let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard. Sam, the gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. 
like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink... Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? Just grunting together. This is not what I pictured. The good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster.
place is a real fixer-upper. Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Eh, I'll take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Cease are gross! Like diseases and shit! before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be.
way, man. We believe in you. Yeah, totally. Woohoo! Let's go, Josh. Let's go. All right, peanut gallery. You know what? I got an idea for you, too. What? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> No, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and, you know, that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um... I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Here, can you, can you hold this? so I can see what I'm doing. Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Just try again.
Tiger Kid. <laughs> All right. Five, girl. Mm. Yeah. Just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Okay, wh whatever you say, man. Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank. Which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oi, 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 oi. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Yeah. Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game. Now is it? investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? 
So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then, and charity? Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Okay, uh, is anyone there? Hello? Pick up the phone, spirit, spirit phone. Um, abracadabra. Come on. Um, if you can hear my voice, give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign or a Guys, stop sign. If you're not gonna take this seriously. Okay, okay. Is anyone there? Wherever there is? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. How can we help you? <laughs> it's moving again. Whoa. What's it spelling? War. It's moving fast. Warning. Shit. Oh my god. Warning? I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate with us. We can't help you if we don't know who you are. Can you tell us who you are? Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? <laughs> Who's sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up. Ask it who's sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Oh, God. This is messed up. Josh, are you? Fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh? I can handle it. Okay. Um, let me think. Hannah, we miss you. And we want to know what happened to you. Can you, can you tell us what happened? B? E? T? R? Uh oh. I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K I L L E D. No. Kill. We didn't kill them. It was just a prank. A Ash, calm, calm down, okay? Just, we, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry. I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Okay. Okay. How did you die? Hannah, what happened to you? L. I. 
B. The library. Maybe there's something in the library B here. B. R. O. O. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library. Oh, no! oh! <sighs> Holy shit, Chris. You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Ah, oh, man, I, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. <laughs> You were faking it if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. I totally promise I won't murder you when I- oh! Oh, my oh my god! god. No. <laughs> that was so good! Not, no! <laughs> wait, 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 you have to see this. You have to I'm not seeing it! No! Out. No! no. no. <laughs> you recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face! <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just no. jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. So I'm sorry to I'm, scare you. If we send that to anybody- <gasps> You what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like Scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. 
I love it. Yeah. But hey, I'm gonna make this quick for you, okay? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, geez, how do I. Uh, I can't watch this. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Urgh. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes, my lady.
Well, this will take care of the mood lighting. All right, logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Mike! What? Oh, crap! What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone! It is gone, okay? Yes, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. You can't find it? Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay, okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. Looky, looky. Who's going to fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just I'm not feeling it yet. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does if that make sense? It's, it's not your fault. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is. Shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what up? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. You've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. You're just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled.
Get your phone. What? How is it my phone? I don't know. It just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> Hey! Yeah, bricks! That means you! I know! What are you trying to do? You want to ruin our fun that bad? Well, guess what? You can't! You can't ruin our good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck! That's right, we are going to have sex and it's gonna be hot! So enjoy it because I know we're going to! they were if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look! What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. That explodes. Are we like in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's a rom com. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <laughs> Gee, thanks. What did you find? Holy cow. Now, Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. 
I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And, and then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. You hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Come in! Hold on! Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Let me in! Ashley! Are you okay? I'm gonna... Ash? Ash? I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Like. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? I guess you think he's getting what he deserves. <laughs> you think the way you feel about him justifies the terrible trauma that he'll soon go through. Now, why would you think that? Time's up. Come back soon. We'll talk again. Perhaps in the meantime, you can try to figure that one out for yourself.
fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs>
Ash. Ash! Not good. Not good at all. Out there, Ashley. Ash. Ashley! Red! Uh, Ash, I'm here. Where are you? Uh, I don't know. Are you okay? What, what the hell happened? Please, help me. Uh, I'm coming, Ash. Just, uh, just keep talking to me. What happened? Chris, he tied me up. I can't move. Ashley, I'm gonna get you out of this. Don't worry. I'm really scared, Chris. <laughs> Hurry, please. Oh, God, Chris, you have to get me out of here before he comes back. placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Oh, no. Please, get me out of here. Oh, oh, okay. okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. Oh, oh, dude, buddy, oh, let's just think God. about this for Chris, a minute. You can't let me die. Just give me a second, I, 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 uh, huh? I can't think straight. Just... 
Poor people are getting what they deserve! I'm trying to help you. And this game you're playing, you understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. And I can't say that you're being particularly honest in the way you're playing. Yes. 
not good. That's really not good.
Emang? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit.
is a quaint little psycho crib.
believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Look, an axe. I feel better with an axe. What now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Okay, fine. Here goes. I'm gonna huff. I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! got to Chris and Ash and Josh? He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we going to do? I, I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Hey, look! Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? A mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? Very friendly. Ugh, unfollow. <sighs> Somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. meat for brains.
<laughs> you all right? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um, you should go first to protect me. Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. My clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Chris? Josh?
This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Towel it is then. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded.
That was exciting, wasn't it? Well done! The game seems to be going very well. Yes. All oh, the good work. We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of isolation. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? Try to find us. Someone on the radio. We will. Then we tell them we need help. But what do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh God, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. Security light. Motion sensor, probably.
is it so windy all of a sudden? We're almost inside. Hopefully someone who's not a psychopath. Until dawn. 
piece of shit! You all right? 
Yeah, I just... I know. You and Josh were close. Chris? Let's just find Sam, okay? That, that's what we're doing I mean, now. oh my god! Ashley, just stop, okay? I don't want to think about what just happened. Chris! We're finding Sam! Up. Ah! <gasps> Wait a minute. Did you just see that? Uh, did, did I see what? That, Chris, that! What that was that? It was like, it was like a see-through shape, like a ghost. Oh, boy. I'm serious. Why don't you believe me? I said I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? We, we've been through hell tonight, okay? Your mind is fried. My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. No, you are wrong. I saw it and I am sure, Chris. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe it's... Pfft. Maybe you did see something. Let's just let's just keep our heads. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh god. <laughs> let's go. into it, right? I mean, you're not going to it? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. How did everything get so freaky around here? Doors slamming and candles lighting up out of nowhere and that, that specter or whatever Ashley, it was. Ashley, I, I, I think you're kind of ignoring what's really happening here. Don't tell me. You didn't see that translucent white figure just passing right by us. We, we, we could be seeing things. I'm not imagining things. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I saw things too. I, 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 I saw what happened to Josh in the shed. You know, that, that's, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, Chris, I know, I know. You know what I'm really worried about? Okay, I'm worried about Sam. What, what, what's happened to her? If there's some maniac out here, then she could be dead too. Don't say that. Please, look, 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 Chris. You can see in the windows. See what, it's tiny furniture? No, it's a whole scene with dolls and everything. Yeah. I guess you need a key if you want to play around in there. Ghost of what? 
You're freaked out because of what happened with Josh. You're not paying attention. I saw it. I saw a ghost, and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like wait, Hannah. Wait, 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 what? Her baby's pet. Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? I don't know. Maybe. They did it because ghosts don't exist, okay? Oh, okay, who was talking to us at the seance, Chris? I don't know. How does a picture just jump off the wall like that? Huh. Here you go. <gasps> oh my god! There! Look there, Chris! You can't tell me! You can not wow, see that! That's, uh, see? That's, uh... You do see it! Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I just... <laughs> this is fucking crazy! Chris, it's showing us the way. Oh, this is unbelievable. I feel like the ghost wanted me to see this. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Oh, God, it's... It's like... It's not like anything. That's us. <gasps> hiding there, waiting for Hannah. Last year. But it's it's so accurate. I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting, and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone. Who was there? Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think someone... I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Beth. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this all up, Chris? He's trying to tell us that he's gonna come after us all, too. Dice! Oh. It's... It's Hannah's diary. Everyone being together here on the mountain is going to be so awesome. Cozy fires and hot tubs and OMG, Mike, I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad, Chris. Creepier. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Uh, what was that? Huh. Wait, there's a whole nother room through here. It's mammoth. Chris, I don't know if I want to keep going. take any more of this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about at my limit here, too. All I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened and... To be honest, I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah, well, you know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. 
Great, so you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? I mean, who likes being made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. What? Chris, we made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. make fake newspapers? <laughs> That's a really good question. You know what? No. Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I understand, okay? I'm really freaked out too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. God damn it. Ashley, come on. Why are you always right? I'm not always right. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't want to be. I want to leave. No. We've got to find Sam. Let's go. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all this. What do you mean? Well, I just, I can't shake the feeling that those fake newspapers have something to do with the guy who killed Josh. Wait, wait like, like, like what? Like it's a setup or something? Yeah, but I mean, how? It's just, it almost makes sense, but it just feels like we're missing something. What is this, like a fucking hit list? Christ. Last year. I think this is a little bit. Oh, come on. She Stupid prank. It. Uh, this is a little, this is a little uncomfortable, huh? She's here. I've never Shh. seen this video. She's just so. So what? Mike? She's so excited. It's Hannah. And alive. Hey, Hannah. She has no idea. Oh, jeez. 
Wow. Forgot you were such a willful participant. What are you doing here? This is horrible. Couldn't feel worse. Looks like you were enjoying yourself. That's the worst part, isn't it? We were just playing a joke. It was supposed to be funny. Yeah. I never want to see this video ever again. Oh. Ash, slow down, okay? I can't handle this ghost and these videos and everything just, just flying around. Just calm down. Around. Listen to me for a what? second. What? Calm down? Why should I calm down, Chris? I am freaking this out This has right got now. to be someone messing with us. What? Think about it. Ghosts don't hook up video cameras. They don't play games. Then who would set this all up? Seriously, I'm asking. I don't know. Maybe the same person who tied you up and killed Josh? Yeah, right. The same person who might have Sam right now. Maybe you're right. I wish I wasn't. Oh, crap. Look at that. What? Might be Sam's. All right, let me see if I can get this. Yeah, I got it, but oh, damn, this thing is heavy. Be careful. You gotta come through, Ash. I, I can't hold it. Uh, oh, come on. Chris. Wait, to what? I think I just saw Sam over there. Uh, Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on. I think we should check it out. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we really gotta get moving, like now. Sam's clothes. That's just sick. I'd say that's just sick. So the psycho has been down here for sure. Do you think he's still down here? I hope not. Why is this thing even here? Million dollar question. She's not, she's not dead. How do you know? She's still breathing. What the hell is wrong? She's been knocked out. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is bad, this is bad. We've got to get her out of here. Oh, oh shit! No, give up! What? 
It's too late. Chris, what's the point? Stop it. Just say. We're always talking around it. And now, I mean, we've wasted everything. Ashley, none of it was wasted. What do you mean? Every second that I spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? I'm sorry. I, I should have told you how I felt. Chris. Ashley, no. I swear when we get out of this. Oh, God! No. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. Hello there, my special little subjects. So oh, shit. Here, Chris. Oh, you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today. And now, he must make another. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley. Or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. Oh. <laughs> Don't be so silly, Chris. Should be me. You chose to save me oh, before. Fuck. Let me choose this time. Let me choose to save you. If I do one last thing in my life, let me do this. Chris, please. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Huh? Now what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? You're sick! You're a sick fuck! Now, what the hell have you done to them, huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Psychopath.
What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? Do you mind, Mike? Oh, yeah. uh, right. My bad.
weird. Really weird. On for fuck's sake. Son of a bitch. Jesus, shit.
emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago only, only guess what they didn't get to laugh it off no 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 they're gone i don't know if you noticed this josh but none of us are laughing oh come 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 why the long faces come on it's good to get the heart racing every now and then right and race they did i mean every one of you just pitter pat pitter pat i hope you appreciated my little phantasmagorical spectacle I mean, ah! no detail too small no happen? opportunity missed it was such a delight to play the puppet master to to all of your pavlovian panic <laughs> and all that gore gore it was gore the lord they bodies i mean god that shit was expensive and no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you should have seen your faces. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. Josh, why are you doing this? Yeah, don't even ask this squirrely little runt. He's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. He's definitely off his meds. Oh, come on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done. Hey, Mike, he's sick. What? Come on, you guys are all gonna thank me when you guys become internet sensations. Wait, what, what? Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got the unrequited love. We got, we got blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China to, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking about, you asshat? Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. You are gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! Ah. Guys! Guys, come on. Seriously, this is crazy, you know? Shut up. Chris! Bro! I'm not your bro. Where are we going? Where are you guys taking me? Fuck you up, bro. What? You can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are, are you serious, bro? Goddamn murderer is what you are. I didn't do it. Michael, please, just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. Are, are you insane? Like, 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 really? Do you not understand what you've done? I'm a healer, man! I bring people together! Not like you assholes. That's enough. You only see what you want to see. You're Stop talking! I, you are ah, dude. Ah, it's not my fault. You suckers can't take a joke. Ugh. Oh, oh wait. Did I hurt you? Did you just you feel a little? A little bit of pain? Mm. Right now, I am so, so sorry! Ah, stop it! Jesus, dude. Stop! Michael, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am that something happened to Jessica, but I swear, I swear to you, I have no idea what happened to her. Oh, shit, Mike, this... Oh. I don't know, something feels really wrong here, man. Are you joking? I, I, I'm just having a really hard time that figuring out that he would like do anything to hurt Jess. I saw what he did to her with my own eyes. This, this, this is her blood. <laughs> but can't we all just get along? <laughs> ah! Damn it! Not dicking around. 
This guys, huh? Not like, not like you got the guts to really do anything about it, anyways. Ah! Ah! Really, really, really need to shut up, man. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. That's, I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't even. I know what you mean because I, I don't have anything to regret. Oh my god. Okay, you're tying me up now, okay. Stay still, right. man. Right, 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 right. Okay, you tie him up if they just wiggle around. Gosh, dude. I leave me a little wiggle room, huh? What does it take to shut you up? Oh, not so tight, okay? Not so tight, okay? Okay, well, those plastic ties, that's right. In God's name, what is he talking about? This is hard to watch. You ever say this kind of shit before? Oh, I've never seen him like this. Money back. <laughs> hey, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, what? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened? No, no, I, I don't. I got a problem, Mike. I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. No, I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Son of a bitch! Stop! Stop, dude! Chill out! What the hell are you doing? I, 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 you, you were gonna shoot him. I was just messing with the man. He's trying to scare him. But I, give him a taste of his own medicine. Well, what the hell, man? I could have killed him. Relax. It's fine. He's, he'll be fine. I, I didn't like doing that. Well, now at least he's quiet. You should go back to the lodge, man. What, what, what? Why? I'm gonna watch him until the morning. I don't need you beating him half to death the whole time. Th th that's not fair. I, th I thought I was protecting you. Yeah, well, job well done. Take a vacation. Well, what the hell, man? Go back to the lodge. Now. Good. Now!
This is gonna be the way. Are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Okay? You look totally lost. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster, it's a monster. Wait. Mon Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. I think you could relax. Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it... It fell, the whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and... There was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. 
That's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. I'm sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Ready? Ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take a gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just... Take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Till dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What What do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Hey, going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you. Get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? 
Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Come on. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's, uh... What, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Some patterns, like any animal or human. What, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they would be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? Standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes in movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Josh, he could still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Guys, 
not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, 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 what is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is th Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's oh nothing. No, it just it, oh no, it bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing. Really, it's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore. Really, it's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said so, that. Is that how it worked? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do, and I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do that! I'm really sorry. Ah! Ah! Holy shit, Mike! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, oh fuck. I, fuck. I, I, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay. God. It's over, it's over. Ugh. Oh. You guys are safe. You guys are safe. It's a safe room, guys. I had to do it. I had to do it. Okay. I'm gonna get the key from Josh. I'll, uh, 
I'll come back here. You guys are safe. It's over. It's over. Hey, what happened out there? You don't want to know. Hey, are you okay? He was right there. What, the flamethrower dude? Yeah, the, the weird guy. He got himself killed. Was it the Wendigo? Yeah. And I was definitely not lying about that. Oh, Jesus. What did it look like? Like, 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 like a, like a person, only, but just d distorted somehow. This guy's a little OCD. There's a lot of history to this. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What does it say? It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see that. Listen to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? Are you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Chris was your best friend, huh? And yet you despised him that much? Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Just a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation.
Huh. I have another walls. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. See me again, huh? Hey. Just hoping I'd run into you again. Alright. Good boy. Alright, pal. You're coming with me. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Oh. Couldn't have said it better myself. Ah, the boy. I can move like you, Wolfie. Stuck on this side. All right. There goes nothing. See 
that. I do got moves. Don't I, Wolfie? Shit, this 
stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking bad dream. One at a time, boys. It's enough for me for all you. on the flip side, huh? Maybe you should go on without me. Oh, God, Chris, are you going to be okay? Yeah, yeah, just go on. I, 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 
can't keep up with you macho ladies. Oh God, Chris, just stop it, okay? Listen, just, just go on ahead, okay? You gotta warn Mike, I'll be right behind you. I'm just gonna take a breather. All right. Not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? That's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? I want to make sure Chris can find us. Hey, maybe if I leave some marks along the way, he'll be able to follow us. You know what? You go on. I'll catch up. Okay. there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? This is fucking crazy. Jessica. Ugh! Jessica, is that you?
great. Piece of cake. Hello?
any marshmallows? down to where this fucker lives. I'm going to leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! But at every turn, you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. But by the sounds of things, it won't be long for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. Yeah, maybe a 
minor. Maybe someone who worked in the sanatorium. There was so much weird shit happening up there that wouldn't even begin to surprise me. What kind of weird shit? Someone was capturing the Wendigos. Had them all tied up in these restraints. I saw some real fucked up shit. Wow. I must have just let them all out when I blew the place up. Huh. Smooth move. Mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. You see that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way Josh is going to make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. You bring Josh back the way we came and we'll all get at the lodge. Be careful. Yeah, you too. <sighs> Alright, let's go, you fucked up son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong.
I didn't want you to die.
look worse if we stay out here. Come on. chances of survival.
structure is completely destroyed. Over. Hold on. I'm seeing something. I have confirmation on one survivor. Let's pick him up. I said I'm fine. It was my fault Mike died. I wasn't supposed to move. But I did. And he saved me. So it's my fault that he died. You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. <laughs> 